Hi darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Libras. And this is just for a little weekend check-in, okay? And this is, well, the weekend is gonna be the 25th and the 26th of March. I'll be using my Robin Wood Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using tarot with keywords. So Libra, let's see what messages we have for you. So Libra, this is for you. The Page of Cups. You need to use your intuition because you do have that gift. The Two of Cups, Unified Love. The Page of Swords, awaiting a message. Or is a message coming quickly? It's coming quickly. The Eight of Wands, something coming pretty fast. And you're going to be at a standstill when it comes because you might have to make a decision. You're going to have to go within to figure out. Ask yourself what to do. The Nine of Wands. You're very resilient. You keep on going no matter what. You always pick yourself back up. You dust yourself off and you keep on going. The Ten of Cups. Happy family. Happiness. And the Three of Wands. You're longing for something. Are you longing for, for a trip to go somewhere? So let's see. So on top of the Page of Cups came the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> New love for the King of Swords. Love. So the card itself says, let go of any emotional baggage that is weighing you down and start truly living your life. This is your opportunity for a fresh start or a new relationship. Whether or not you choose to take the cup and drink, from it, it's up to you. So, is the air sign, the Gemini, the Libra, or the Aquarius, the baggage that you need to release? Gotta do some thinking, use your intuition, okay? You're gonna get your clarity. You're gonna get your clarity. The Two of Cups, Unified Love. Did you meet someone else? Just be patient. Don't rush anything. And you will have balance and everything will work out. So stop driving yourself local.
And I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Stop. You have so much anxiety and fear. And you're worrying. You're staying up at night. You're not getting much sleep. Just be patient. What is meant to be will be. Release what you can't solve and solve the things that you can and let them go, you know? Now, if you got to deal with the past, a lot of y'all don't want to go there. It's kind of hard to go there because it means a lot of emotion. And so many people don't want to cry anymore, you know? So, you need to let go of that anxiety. Or is not getting a message? Is that what's bothering you? So let's see. The four cups and the moon. You need to meditate. You need to go within yourself. You need to go within yourself. The four cups and the moon. You're not seeing things quite clearly. When you go within yourself, you will find yourself. You will find the answers also. Something is coming very fast. What's coming fast? The five of pentacles, the mindset of lack, feeling like you don't have. You might suffer a temporary. This feeling is only temporary. Okay, temporary is the key word. You may suffer a, a financial loss. But it's nothing that you can't rebound from. Because the next card that came up here was the Queen of Pentacles. An upright Queen of Pentacles is, the, is a precaution to avoid any misaligned investments. Be careful of what you invest in. Okay? Libra, pay attention. The Five of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. She's warning you. Now, if this is not the case, this might be an actual energy in your environment, which could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. But for some reason, I think it's exactly what I said. Pay attention. Don't do anything you're going to regret. <clears throat> The hanged man. The ace of swords came above the hanged man and the ace of pentacles. You will have the mental clarity that you seek and there will be abundance. There might be um, maybe a promotion, a job offer, something. Money is coming to you. You might have been manifesting it, but it's coming in, okay? So the Ace of Swords for your clarity. And the Ace of Pentacles. And then the Hermit is over here. I was telling you earlier that you need to go within, you need to meditate. <clears throat> the Empress. I could have sworn I saw something right here just now like standing right here maybe it's my eyes playing tricks and the four of pentacles so the empress says you're experiencing new life maybe in the form of pregnancy romance business or elsewhere so not necessarily pregnancy but something new is happening in your life and then on top of that came the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is saying that you're saving money and you're basically, um, you're, you're stable financially. Okay? But it says here, be sure not to become greedy and hoarding your fortune. Okay? So, but I say, just be careful, you know, don't give over give. Don't overgive. Manage yourself. So the nine of wands. Change is coming. The death card. Change is coming. 
an ending and a beginning, a new beginning, the end of a cycle. Something is ending for you. The Knight of Pentacles came on top of the Death card. The upright position of this card is an indication of a need to be trustworthy and reliable. The daily grind of responsibilities might not be the most exciting, but if you put your head down and put in the work, you will reap great rewards. So just keep doing what you're doing, darling, and a change is going to come. And you're going to see. The Death card and the Knight of Pentacles. Don't stop. Just keep going. You're tired. You're tired, but you always keep going. You never stop. <clears throat> the Ten of Cups here. Oy. Oh, where does that go? Right here. Oy. <laughs> I love my cards. I really, really do. So the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. So something from the past might be coming back to give you a little bit of happiness. You planted a seed not too long ago, and you're watching it grow right now. The Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. And you're waiting for it. You're waiting for it. You're looking, you're waiting, you planted that seed. You planted that seed. On top of the three of wands comes the seven of wands. You're above your challenges. You are in control. And you're holding your own and standing your ground. Then here comes the Knight of Cups. Somebody coming with a romantic proposal. Is that what you're waiting for? Someone from the past coming with a romantic proposal. To make sure you get rid of your extra baggage. Whatever it is, you know. But what I want you to believe is to believe in yourself these feelings lack it won't last long okay there's abundance coming and some love too but you got to get rid of that baggage i love you guys you take care and i will chat with you soon bye